This spider is waiting for its prey. It's actually working right in here. It's got a huge web and uh, it's inside a Japanese maple, a variegated Japanese maple here at Highland Hill Farm. There's a moth that just flew in and got stuck. The moth doesn't seem to make much of a interest to the spider. He may decide to wet, let it die in the web and then devour it. Farm. We have plenty of trees and all our trees we have a whole bunch of different kinds of insects. And right before you there's a black wasp, it's called a mud wasp. And mud wasps are all over the place here because we water our trees and there's mud on the ground so they build their nests here. But what's interesting about this one is that this mud wasp, when it builds its nest, it must go out and collect spiders in order for the young to feed on when it's uh, when the young is maturing inside the nest itself. And the mud wasp goes around, attacks and paralyzes. It does not kill the spider, it just paralyzes the spider, drags it back to its nest, puts it inside the nest, and then um, when the larva hatches, the larva eats the spiders that are still alive, just paralyzed. So this spider right here yep. is That might be threatened. food for a hungry mud wasp larva. And the cool thing about spiders is that spiders are actually fairly good for trees in the fact that it goes and captures insects and eats insects. This kind makes a web and captures flies, mayflies, regular flies, moths that goes by. What distinguishes a spider from the rest of the insect world is that it usually has two body segments and four sets of legs, which makes a total of eight legs. Uh, other interesting facts about spiders is that in households, spiders usually don't last as long because it's not as moist. And what happens is when the spider starts to dehydrate, it's, there's not enough water in the spider to survive. And water is a key factor for spiders because all their joints are fluid filled. And once it gets dehydrated, the spider can no longer move. And then from there it just dies. So spiders usually don't live too long in houses that are dry. Okay, now what kind of a bush is this on? Well, this is on a butterfly Japanese maple. Cool things about the butterflies, as you can see, it has white and green parts to the leaves. In the spring, when it's flushing, the new growth comes out a little bit red. You can see it's still a little bit pinky red on the petioles and the stems. Uh, and when it gets older and more mature, it gets a little bit of a cool feature on the bark with green and gray. It's really nice. Uh, it grows to be about six to nine foot tall. Its cold hardiness zones are from five. To eight 
and it's a very nice specimen piece available at Highland Hill Farm.